Hello and welcome to lesson 12-3. In this lesson, we're going to focus on customary units of weight. Now let's go ahead and watch our short video lesson before we jump into our notes and guided practice here. How can you convert units of weight? Think about this question during the lesson. An adult African elephant might weigh five tons. A baby African elephant might weigh 250 pounds. How many pounds does the adult elephant weigh? How could you change 250 pounds to tons? Which is heavier, 250 pounds or five tons? One ton is equal to 2,000 pounds. One ton is heavier than one pound. So, five tons is heavier than 250 pounds. What operation do you use to find the number of pounds? Select your answer. All right, so here we're going to be doing what we've done in previous lessons, is we're converting from a large unit to a smaller one. So, we're going to move from really big pieces into smaller pieces. Now, when we're using small pieces and trying to find something that's the same as the bigger pieces, we're going to have more of those smaller size pieces. So we're going to multiply when we go from bigger units down to smaller units. To convert from larger units to smaller units, multiply. What is the product? So here we need to multiply five times 2,000. Now you could do your basic fact over here and do the five times two, and that gives you 10. So you'll have 10 plus the three zeros that come after it. So you'll end up with 10,000 pounds. The adult elephant weighs 10,000 pounds. Now convert the weight of the baby elephant from pounds to tons. What operation should you use to find the number of tons? Select your answer. Now for this section, we're going to be going in the opposite direction. So we're going from uh, small to big. So when you're using small units, there's a larger number of small units that can fit into each bigger unit. So here we're not multiplying, we're going to divide because our, the size of our units is much larger, so we will need fewer of them. To convert from smaller units to larger units, divide. What is the quotient? Remember to express fractions in simplest form. The baby elephant weighs about one-eighth of a ton. Now you know how to convert customary units of weight. How many ounces does a 14-pound house cat weigh? Try it yourself. All right, now that we've gone through our short video lesson, we're going to jump into our notes and our guided practice together. So how can you convert units of weight? That's going to be our focus question. Now, a fun fact is that weight actually changes from planet to planet because weight is based very specifically on gravitational pull. So how strongly is gravity pulling you down towards, you know, the the place that you're at? So for us, how how strongly does gravity pull us down towards Earth. Now here on Earth, there is more gravity than there is on the moon. So you weigh much more here than you would on the moon. Even though you haven't changed, your weight changes because your weight is based on how much gravity there is. So that's just a fun fact for you guys. Now let's take a look at our unit conversions. Now we know that one ton is equal to 2,000 pounds and one pound is equal to 16 ounces. So again, to change from a large unit to a small one, you're going to multiply because you're going to have a whole bunch of the smaller size pieces. To go from a small unit to a large one, you're going to divide because you're going to need fewer of those larger pieces. Now, our first example here is Maria adopted four dogs. Altogether, they eat one and three fourth pound of food for each day. One pound is equal to 16 ounces. 
how many ounces of food will they eat in five days? So I want to stop and think, what do I know? Now I know one pound is 16 ounces and I know they eat one and three fourth pounds in one day. So in order to solve, first I need to answer the hidden question, which is uh, how many of pounds of food did they eat in the five days? So I'm going to do five times one and three fourths. So I get, that gives me five and 15 fourths, which is the same thing as saying five plus four fourths, plus four fourths, plus four fourths, plus three fourths. This will equal 15. So five plus a whole, plus another whole, plus another whole, plus three fourths. So five plus one, plus one, plus one, plus three fourths, which is eight and three fourths pounds. So now we know that they ate eight and three fourths pounds of food in five days. The next thing I need to do is convert eight and three fourths pounds into ounces. Now I know that one pound is equal to 16 ounces. So eight and three fourths pounds multiplied by 16 is going to give me 128 and 48 fourths pounds. Now 48 divided by four gives me 12. So it's going to be 128 plus the 12 from this improper fraction, once we change it to a whole number, equals 140 ounces. So the, the dogs ate a total of 140 ounces of food in those five days. Let's take a look at our next example. Our next example says, which is greater, 24 pounds or 124 ounces? So the first thing I need to do is convert one of these numbers so that I'm using the same kind of unit. I can only compare when I'm using the same size pieces. I can't compare when there's different. So I'm going to take the 24 pounds and convert them into ounces. So 24 times 16, right? Because there's 16 ounces in one pound. So the 24 pounds times 16 gave me 384 ounces. Now it's easy for me to compare. I'm just comparing 384 to 124. 384 ounces is greater than 124 ounces. So that tells me that 24 pounds is greater than 124 ounces. My next question says, which is greater, 64,000 ounces or two tons? Now, one ton is equal to 2,000 pounds, and one pound is equal to 16 ounces. So let's, we get our facts out of the way. So one ton is 2,000 times 16, which is going to give me the number ounce, the number of ounces. So my one ton is 2,000 pounds times the 16 ounces per, for each pound gives me 32,000 ounces. So two tons is going to be 32,000 ounces times two, which equals 64,000 ounces. So 64,000 ounces is equal to two tons. So even though this looked like a pretty difficult question when you guys first looked at it, if you just follow through one step at a time down those unit conversions, you'll find your answer pretty quickly. Another example before we jump into our guided practice says the world's heaviest lobster weighed 400, or sorry, weighed 44 pounds and six ounces. What is the lobster's weight in ounces? So I know one pound is 16 ounces, and I know that lobster weighs 44 pounds and six ounces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it apart. So I'm going to do the 44 times 16 because one pound is 16 ounces. And then I'm going to add those extra six ounces from the question. So 44 times 16 gave me 704. 704 plus those six extra gave me 710. So the heaviest lobster weighed 710 ounces. Now, if I want to go back and check my answer, I can do 710 divided by 16 that's going to give me 44 remainder six, or I could do 704 divided by 16, and that'll give me 44, and then I'll have plus the six extra that they told us about in the question. All right, finally, let's jump into our guided practice. Number one says, what would be best to measure the weight of an egg in tons, pounds, or ounces? Explain your answer. So here we know an egg would be best measured with ounces since it's a small and lightweight object. Pounds are usually good for medium-sized objects like a chair or a bike or your pets or how much people weigh. Tons is what we use for really heavy things like cars, trucks, large animals like elephants. Those are uh, things that we usually measure in tons. 
For number two, it says, what tools do people measure, do people select to measure weight? So you can use a scale, like a bathroom scale to weigh yourself or like the scale at the doctor's office to figure out your weight. You can use a, lot, a small food scale in the kitchen if you're measuring ingredients. And then for numbers uh, three through six, we're doing some unit conversions and seven to eight, we're doing some comparisons. So number three says 2,000 pounds is equal to how many tons? Well, we know one ton is 2,000 pounds. So 2,000 pounds is equal to just one ton. Our next question says 48 ounces converted to pounds. Now I know there's 16 ounces in a pound, so I'm going to take those 48 and I'm going to divide them by 16. 48 divided by 16 gives me three. So 48 ounces was equal to three pounds. For number five, it says 6,500 pounds converted into tons. Now I know that one ton is 2,000 pounds. So 6,500 divided by 2,000 is going to give me 3.5 or three and a half tons. Number six is one half pound is equal to how many ounces? So if I know that one pound is 16 ounces, half a pound is going to be 16 divided by two, which gives me eight ounces. For number seven, two tons and 45,000 pounds. So I know one ton is 2,000 pounds. So two tons is going to be 4,000 pounds. So 4,000 pounds is going to be less than 45,000 pounds. And my last one is converting or comparing four pounds and 64 ounces. So if one pound, again, is 16 ounces, four times the 16 gives me 64. So four pounds is equal to 64 ounces. That takes us through the end of our lesson for today. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.